slimmer bezels, a more powerful processor, new color, headphone jack, and of course, the camera reimagined. All of these are highly expected to come up in the final product. Yes guys, we are a few weeks away from the unveiling of the Samsung Galaxy S9, which is happening on the 25th of February at the Samsung Unpacked 2018 event. And because most of us are excited about what Samsung has in store for us, and we can't wait to see what the Samsung Galaxy S9 will truly be, we will be looking into all of the juicy information we have been getting from very, very credible sources on the S9. Really, really exciting stuff here. So join me guys as we unveil Unravel all the mysteries going on with the S9. This is Vince Domingo from Tech Beans, and let's get started. No. Based on this render right here, which came from Evleaks. If you don't know him yet, he's a very credible source and has a good track record. It is known that the leaks he posts end up being the real thing most of the time. But yeah, going back to this render right here, we can see that it's actually almost identical to the S8's design. And it looks like they just remove a little bit of bezel at the bottom. This is actually totally fine, as the S8's design is still amazing and one of the best looking phones around. Now it's totally early to get a total Total redesign. It's just been a year since the S8's design went out, and it's still perfect in 2018 standards. The S9 will sport a 5.8-inch Super AMOLED 2960x1440 display, while the S9 Plus will have a larger 6.2-inch display. Here are some more renders from different sources, and as you might have noticed, there is a consistency in the wallpaper design here. It has that diamond purplish design going on. And yes, we did get the wallpaper leak from Mr. Evan himself, hinting that this might be the official default wallpaper for the S9. Also with the purple wallpaper comes a purple colored phone. And we kind of knew that this was going to be the S9's new color since Samsung's Unpacked 2018 trailer, which drew a number nine with a purplish color accent. There haven't been any good information on what the back will actually look like, but Evleaks did post this camera cutoff and it looks really nice, with the fingerprint scanner now placed right below the camera instead of beside it. I think a lot of people are going to be happy since the placement of the fingerprint scanner on the S8 was really, really bad. One trend we've seen throughout 2017 is the rapid removal of the 3.5mm headphone jack. Apple, Google, Motorola, and HTC have all been jumping on the same dongle boat. But we shouldn't have to worry about this with the Galaxy S9. Venture Beat Source supposedly confirmed that the Galaxy S9 will keep the headphone jack. And this lines up with the leak case render for the phone that showed a covered section for the coveted port. All I can say is, if this is really true, thank you so much, Samsung. Thank you so much for listening. You are the only smartphone company that makes sense. Back in December, there were news of Samsung buying large amounts of Snapdragon 845 chips, and the S9 is indeed expected to be powered by the newly beastly processor. According to Qualcomm, there will be at least 25% increase in the performance of the Snapdragon 845 as compared to its predecessor, the Snapdragon 835. It is also being claimed that the new chipset will result in 30% more battery life than its predecessor. The beastly processor also allows up to 4K Ultra HD video at 60 frames per second, something which was only available on very few devices, such as the iPhone 8 and 10, GoPro Hero 6, and the Panasonic GH5. And now it's coming to the S9 as well. The S9's performance stats was actually hanging out in Geekbench. Yes, guys, these stats are straight out of Geekbench itself. And we can see the model right here, which translates to the Samsung Galaxy S9. Comparing the S9's number with the S8 here, we see that there is a 20% increased performance from the S9. It's not as powerful as the Apple's A11 Bionic chip, wherein the numbers are just staggering, as it almost comes near MacBook Pro processing power. The S9 and S9 Plus 
will get 4 gigs and 6 gigs of RAM respectively. While certainly not that impressive, the S9's processing power is most likely going to focus on image processing, as Samsung is putting emphasis on this from their teaser. Well, speaking of camera, the Samsung Galaxy S9 is poised to become the ultimate camera smartphone in 2018, with its super speed dual pixel 12 megapixel OIS and a variable aperture of f1.5 to 2.4. The camera specs are indeed DSLR-like, and that Samsung is about to drop the bomb on the 25th of February when they make it official. If you want to know more about the camera, guys, check out this video right here. I covered it in greater detail detail, everything about the camera, all of the features, all of it, period. Samsung announced on December 5 that it had begun mass producing the mobile industry's first 512 gigabyte chips, and although not directly mentioned, we wouldn't be surprised to see this extra storage make its way to the S9 and S9 Plus. Larger internal storage will always have the benefit over expansions with micro SD cards. Another important thing to consider is that the S9 will feature video recording at 4K at 60 frames per second, and that it will definitely consume a huge amount of space. That is why Apple opted to have a max configuration of 256 gigabyte and skip the 128 one in between. Because their new iPhones can also shoot at 4K at 60 frames per second and that they realize that it consumes a boatload of storage. Here's a breakdown on how much space video eats up on both 4K at 30 and 60 FPS. As you can see right here, the amount of storage that 60 frames per second consumes is 5 times the storage of 30 frames per second. The Samsung Galaxy S9 is shaping up to be the perfect flagship this 2018. If all the specs mentioned in this video are truly going to come up in the final product, my gosh, what a beast that will be. Let me know guys in the comments below if you are also going to buy one. And also don't forget to drop a like guys really appreciate it. Much hype has really built up during the past few months, and we are finally getting there. Subscribe now guys to see the unboxing first here at Tech Beans. This is Vince Domingo from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.